Sports. The player of the game interview is brought to you by Cole Orthodontic Associates with convenient locations in Ridgeway, St. Mary's, and Warren. You can get your game-winning smile at Cole Orthodontic Associates. And, uh, Ethan, first of all, uh, congratulations on the win. Uh, a big one here in region. Oh, uh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, and so, you know, you guys come into this game. It's a couple of five and three teams. You're battling for uh, for playoff positioning. You, ha- you lose the ball in the on the first possession of the game, and then you guys came back and really just kind of took over. What was working so well for you on the ground today? Uh, a few different things. I mean, I saw right up the middle, probably called that, I'd say, a good 60 to 75% of our plays. It was just – uh, just pretty much ground and pound, just pound the ball up the middle, up the middle, up the middle, first down, first down, first down, up until, you know, we scored and it's just how we did it. And how much did the, you know, I mean, it was raining off and on throughout uh, or leading up to the game and then through most of the first half. Um, how difficult is it this late in the season? It's, you know, wet, it's cold out there to, uh, to really get a good feel for the ball, get a grip on the ball. Uh, I mean, Night like tonight, I mean, it rained all pregame. Uh, I didn't know what the game was going to like forecast really weather-wise. So we came out. I mean, it was just drizzling a little bit. I figured, you know, gloves, I'll be all right. Not nah, all right. <laughs> Fumbled first drive and yeah. said off with the gloves the rest of the game. And, uh, I mean, you can't, you can't change the weather. So right. you just got to battle through adversity and just play through it. Well, and we saw at one point uh, your teammate, uh, Johnny Hargan Raider, was – spelling you one of the few times he got a breather offensively, but uh, he carried the ball one time and immediately threw the gloves off as well. Uh, but how much a difference can that make, you know, gloves versus no gloves on a night like tonight? Uh, I mean, I'm always a big gloves guy. I love wearing my gloves, but not like tonight where it just raining. I mean, even just the slightest little amount of like just wetness on your gloves, it just makes it a hundred times like slippier. So uh, it's just, just take them off honestly i mean it, not a big change for me yeah. i mean gloves or no gloves i get the ball I just run with it uh, and so you know you mentioned that uh, that first possession you lose a fumble how much does that motivate you for the rest of the game to to really come out and uh, and uh, pile up the yardage and take care of the football uh big motivator just trying to get back i mean i know i messed up so just want to go make it up to myself and my teammates and my coaches on the next drive and rest of the game honestly all right so you guys scored the uh the Second touchdown to go up sixteen to six, and then you kick the onside kick and, and recover. Was that something you had to, you had discussed pregame that hey, if we get up, uh, you know, by a score, we're going to try an onside kick, or did it just come about uh, in the heat of the moment, so to speak? Uh, I was not aware of it until we were kicking it. Uh, I didn't know it was happening. <laughs> uh, I, we haven't talked about it all week. I think it's just last minute thing. Our coach was like, onside kick it, you know. So and, I don't know how it worked. And how big of a of a momentum boost was that for you, not only to recover the kick, but then take the ball in and, and score late in the half to extend your lead? Huge momentum boost. Uh, I mean, once you get up like that and then you can get the ball right back and go score again, I mean, that's just pretty much takes all the momentum away from them. So you guys are going to have a, a bye week next week. You kind of get to sit back and, and watch as things unfold across uh, District 10. Know you're going to be a, a playoff team. Going to learn your seed at some point, probably in the next uh, week or so. Uh, what are you guys looking to uh, as you get into the playoffs to rectify? You know, you were on this field a, a year ago against Slippery Rock, a tough game in the in the opening round. There, how do you uh, take the next step this year uh, and get past the first round and get back in, into a District Ten championship? I mean, all these guys in the locker room right now. I mean, we're all back from last year. We all know what happened last year. Uh, just even stepping in the locker room on this field for the first time since that game, uh, it was just a huge motivator. Like we know what we did last year, and we know what we got to do this year. 